Hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on April 9th, 2025. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet. Welcome to the Daily Do, giving you your space weather update as well as earthquakes, volcanoes, and world weather. Always starting out here, looking at our sun for the past 48 hours. Only one M-class solar flare from cresting sunspot region. And as well, some plasma filaments lifting from the sun. Other than that, no major solar flares or CMEs heading towards us. Checking out the last 48 hours incoming. Right-hand side, pretty tall plasma prominence stretching from the surface. And as well, active fiery sunspot regions cresting into view. Looking at outgoing here. No major solar events to spot. But we do have some plasma filaments that are dancing. And we're going to be keeping an eye on them. Having a look at multi-spectrum, pointing out the last two days of events. We have the Earth facing coronal hole. Little diagram bottom left showing the magnetic field of our sun. And there is that large Earth facing coronal hole. Our solar winds are still coming in over 500 kilometers per second. Geomagnetic instability has been constant for about four days now, if not eight days with the last coronal hole wind stream. Amazing images here brought to you by Solar Dynamics Observatory mixed with daily events worldwide. Thank you so much for pressing play today and being a part of this channel. Here's a look at those sunspot regions in motion. And right now we have seven that are Earth facing. These are the ones we're going to be keeping an eye on. Current space weather conditions, we're under R1 minor radio blackout impacts, as well as G1 level 1 geomagnetic storm impacts from the coronal hole wind stream. Solar winds are coming in at 529 kilometers per second. Solar X-ray flux showing one moderate M-class solar flare today and a strong C-class. And that's about it. Proton flux is low. Geomagnetic activity was at a KP5 yesterday, hopping down now. Having a look at the current Space Weather Prediction Center spiral. They have input the most recent coronal mass ejection from that huge plasma filament, which, which was documented here just a couple days ago. That is the CME from that plasma filament eruption. Lasco 3 wide spectrum here showing the last two days of cosmic energies leaving our sun. Again, no major coronal mass ejections or solar flares. Couple minor backside actions, quite possibly solar flare. All right, let's carry on here with earthquakes past 24 hours as we've seen some very deep earthquakes starting out here, of course, in the Tonga region. Lavuka, Fiji, 643 kilometer depth. That's very deep, my friends and family. Stay aware and prepared. Watch for a larger, shallower earthquake to follow within the next 12 hours. Considering all of the deep earthquakes that we've seen, earthquakes continuing at Papua New Guinea, Philippines saw a very large volcanic eruption at Kowloon Volcano. Earthquakes are rocking in Japan and off the coast of the Bonin Islands here. Mariana's Trench, boy oh boy, Burma even. Seeing aftershocks a week later after that 7.1 earthquake, Myanmar. Notable earthquake here, 4.4, Tunisia, North Africa. Don't normally report earthquakes there, that's rare. Central Mid-Atlantic Ridge, 5.3 magnitude earthquake. And the activity coming back to South American Plate, Chile with a 5.0, 4.4, and 4.4. 5.2 earthquake here, Nazca Plate, and eerily quiet at the Caribbean. Normally, we're seeing activity constant at Puerto Rico, Dominican Republic. Nothing going on today. USGS is reporting about 230 earthquakes past 24 hours. Had another large eruption at Kilauea Volcano, the 17th of this session that started Christmas Eve, 2024. Right now, they're inactive in erupting 75, and we've seen a couple very deep earthquakes today, 
Heads up, my friends and family, we're going to see a larger shallow earthquake to follow. This is a look at the last seven days for shakers and movers. I want to take a quick moment to thank you all for watching. And please, if you live in an earthquake prone zone, just have a plan and be ready. Stay tuned. Hit your notification bell so you don't miss an update here with daily events worldwide. Because we do give earthquake forecasts as we do and can see when they're going to happen. That's the last seven days. Stay aware and prepared. Now let's have a look at the sulfur dioxide emissions forecast brought to you by active and erupting volcanoes. As I mentioned, 17th eruption at Kilauea, but notable large eruption at Sakurajima in Japan and as well Lucian Islands and Kamchatka. Overlooking Philippines, Kowloon eruption. As well, notable SO2 plumes coming out of Central Africa. Notable plume coming out of northern New Zealand at the White Island Volcano. And Mount Etna erupted yesterday as well. Not a huge eruption by any means, but definitely is puffing a lot of sulfur dioxide into our atmosphere. That is your emissions forecast. Now let's have a look at world weather, hopefully cleaning up that SO2. We've got a low pressure system grinding into the Great Lakes over the next couple of days. Going to bring some gray skies and as well cooler weather. A couple notable systems here developing through the Canadian prairies and up into the Atlantic coast. Watch for snow in the long range forecast, mostly Canada. Big low coming through Manitoba, Ontario. Things are going to start shifting here soon. Warmer air is starting to pump up from the equator. And these lows from the Pacific are starting to come from a lower latitude. Stay tuned. A lot of action in the long range forecast. 22nd, 23rd for the United States. Extreme weather breakout. That will be our next breakout. April 23rd. Other than that, nothing major. No hurricanes forecast just yet. Overlooking Africa, South America, daily evaporation rains could be heavy and electrifying across parts of Central South America and Africa. Notable cyclones there scooting through the South Atlantic. And as well, notable moisture lingering around parts of South Africa. In the long range forecast, right here. Remnants of the cyclone that just ran through the South Atlantic. Overlooking Australia, New Zealand, it's parts of Southeast Asia. Watch for a couple cyclones to invade the Northern Territory of Australia. And as well, Northern Queensland. And a pretty strong low will be affecting New Zealand. Long range forecast, watch for a possible cyclone to be impacting parts of northern New Zealand. No typhoons or cyclones here forecast, but definitely some strong systems we're going to be watching. Overlooking the North Pacific, watching for things to change, high pressure ridge, get broken down and watch for these lows to start coming from the equator. Going to see a strong and warm low head into the BC coastline. Long range will bring some heavy rains and strong winds. As well, low pressure system will bring some pretty wavy conditions for the Hawaiian Islands. Much love, everybody. I hope you enjoyed the show today. If you did, please don't forget to give a thumbs up. Much love. Stay safe and healthy. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun and get your daily due. Bye-bye now.